Hey yo, One Piece chapter 1064 is out and it had me frozen to my seats from beginning to end as I was reading this chapter. Heck, the cover story alone gave me chills as we got confirmation that Kuzan was the one who did crack her dirty in the last cover story and stole pudding from Whole Cake Island. But as we jump into this chapter, we jump straight into the mix with Blackbeard vs. Law and his crew. And I gotta say, Oda is really on one, basically ending off the last chapter with three supernova captains taking on two emperors, and then basically beginning this chapter with one of those same captains taking on a completely different emperor. That is, Oda and his ducks for real. But as this fight is progressing, Law tells his crew, hey, I got Blackbeard, y'all cover this ship. And he basically cuts Doc Q's horse stronger in the half to get them out of the air. But as they're falling, Blackbeard unleashes his quake abilities, basically pushing down and forcing all of the heart pirates to be immobilized as if they can't move. And as they're stuck there, Doc Q throws a bunch of bomb apples, basically trying to destroy them while they're frozen in place. But then some of Law's crew shines as one of his crew members while in the ocean gulps down some water and hits a hydro pump at the um, apple bottle blowing them up basically in Doc's crew face in the middle of the air. And now Law's crew actually begins to shine. If Law's the ultimate support, his crew is his ultimate support. Uh, Beppo out here calling Van Auger the man with the warping abilities, calling his ass from a distance, and then John Bart jumping in front of the bullets that is being fired at Law, basically being the tank of the crew. And as Law is being covered by his crew and can focus on Blackbeard, he unleashes his awakening. And his Blackbeard with the shock will the same attack that effed up Big Mom in the last arc. And, and Blackbeard, he looked like he in for real pain. I know he feeling all of that. And Van Arger looking at him getting hurt like, man, that's what you get for coming in half cock like that, my man. He walks over to him, he like, hey, Cap, what you want to do now? You trying to run? You trying to fight? What, what we going to do here? And Blackbeard like, man, we finished what we start. Send me down there. We going down. And then as Blackbeard squares up with Law, Law's like, hey, man, you got a lot of devil fruits on you. Y'all going to get stuck in the sea with all them anchors. And then Blackbeard like, <laughs> you know what devil fruits are, my man. You got one yourself. It's well worth the trade off. And then Blackbeard and Law exchange blows. And I got to say, this is one of the craziest panels I've ever seen. Blackbeard unleashing the Quake ability against Law's broken Opiopi Noe and its awakening ability. That is a crazy panel. But of course, Oda cuts away the moment Blackbeard uses Black Vortex. And, and then we cut away to Iconi, super salty out here looking like an NBA player with an injury. Just stuck on the sideline. Man, this is so frustrating. <laughs> You'll be out there one day, Iconi. Keep, keep struggling. Keep working hard. You'll be out there.